Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Jeff. Hello. Hello. What snake do we have here? This is a king snake, a California king snake. Is this a different color morph than the usual? Well, the king snakes, snakes come in a variety of colors and patterns. Uh, these are sometimes called chain king snakes because of this particular uh, pattern. But sometimes uh, king snakes can be uh, speckled or even plain color. So uh, th they actually can come in a variety of, of patterns and colors. Mm -hmm. Most people think of a California king snake, you see black and white, and here you have brown, kind of yellowish. Brown, yeah. so and they here. call them king snakes for a reason, because they will eat other snakes. Uh, most snakes are, are typically rodent eaters. Uh, but some species do eat other snakes, and including king snakes. What kind of snakes do these um, king snakes eat? Probably just about anything. They can even eat uh, venomous snakes. They have an immunity to most venoms. So even if they're bitten by, say, a rattlesnake that they're trying to eat, they would survive and probably successfully consume the rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. So they have no problem probably finding food. No problem. Like, they find a snake, like, oh. Here we go. So how did you come into possession of this um, This was actually owned by a private individual who uh, needed to find a new home for it. And most of the time we can't take uh, people's pets, but on occasion, uh, on occasion we will have a need for something. And this animal we use in our programs here. So it worked out fine. I'm going to try not to get you up in my face. That won't be very good. So where can you find these um, California king snakes? Well, they call them California king snakes because they are found, this particular species is found throughout parts of California. Uh, the king snakes are found all over the country, different varieties, um, from the south, uh, throughout the west. Uh, we don't have any king snakes in Pennsylvania. But uh, in the warmer states, there are varieties of king snakes. So, how much of a difference is between like, the how southern king snakes and the western, then to um, California? Is it like different subspecies or same species? Well, they're different uh, subspecies, and they have live in slightly different environments, of course. But uh, other than that, they're largely the same type of snake. They are constrictors, um, much like the corn snakes uh, and the other rat snakes, much like boas or pythons, they constrict to uh, kill their prey. And since they're constrictors, they're not venomous. They're non venomous. How do you tell if a snake is non venomous or is venomous? Well, many in the United States, many of the venomous snakes have a, a very wide triangular head to accommodate the venom glands. That being the, the rattlesnakes, copperheads, and cottonmouths. Um, we do have coral snakes in the United States and the South, but they're very secretive. Um, people rarely come in contact with them. Um, most of the venomous snakes that people come in contact with are the uh, copperheads or rattlesnakes. And it's not very difficult to identify those once you see those photographs of them or see them next to a non venomous snake. That's pretty clear what they are. Mm -hmm. And those venomous snakes are easy prey for this guy. They can be because like I said, these guys can, uh, can be immune to the venom. It's very helpful for them, not so much for the other ones. Like, oh, I want to protect myself. And this guy is, is, does not get affected by it at all. Well, thank you, Jeff, for telling us about these California king snakes. Sure. And if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel.